Hi, my name's Graham Thompson. I'm sending this video to the Central Criminal Court in London as evidence against Mr. Aaron Bastani of Navarra Media for contempt of court. Mr. Bastani has prejudged Mr. Tommy Robinson as guilty prior to his rehearing concerning matters that took place outside of Leeds Crown Court on the 25th of May of this year. The evidence is as follows. So Tommy Robinson was recently released from prison. He was let out two days ago. You've probably seen that video of him returning home on Facebook, seen by two and a half million people. Tommy Robinson was in contempt of court for Facebook broadcasting on Facebook Live that trial. He was literally naming the people who were being charged, where they worked in some cases, and he created the possibility of a mistrial. So what Tommy Robinson did, this is why it's bad, is that he could have allowed people who were potentially rapists, nonces, to get off scot-free. Now explain to me how that kind of a person is a hero to you. If you're a free Tommy person, explain to me, because I don't quite get it. There was a, a petition signed by 600,000 people to Theresa May, the Prime Minister, saying free Tommy Robbins, as if this guy was a, a modern day Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela fought for equality under the law in South Africa, whether you were white, black or brown. Tommy Robinson is trying to create a mistrial for potential nonces, pedos and rapists. Get a grip. Now the reason why there is a journalistic ban on these things, the reason why the media can't report on it, is because it could prejudice the trial. Tommy, Tommy Robinson likes to talk about British values. A fair free trial is one of them, you twat. Imagine if you were being charged with something and you weren't guilty. It could be anything. Uh, you mug somebody. Speeding. Drink driving. And on the front page of The Sun, on the day that you were going to face the magistrates, the Crown Court or whatever, was, it, was your face saying you were guilty. Now that would clearly prejudice the trial, especially if there was a jury. The jury, when they are overseeing part of a trial, they're not allowed to really read the papers or absorb any information relating to the case. That's what they've got to do. And what the media have got to do is not talk about anything to do with the case. Tommy Robinson broke those rules. He therefore undermined the impartiality of the trial and therefore of the criminal justice system. He therefore went to prison. It's really not that hard. And the thing is, he'd done it before. So he had a suspended sentence. So he's not this victim. He had a fucking suspended sentence. He didn't get a nick. He did the exact same thing before he didn't get a nick. He had a suspended sentence for three months. The judge took that, took this new um, instance of him again being in contempt of court and said, three plus 10, you're going down for 13 months. It's perfectly reasonable. It's not as the far-right Dutch politician said, the authorities are trying to silence us. Yes, they are trying to silence dickheads who could potentially create a mistrial for people who might be nonces and rapists. Yes, imagine if it was your small child or your daughter or son or your brother or sister and a dickhead with this a million Facebook followers going, wah, 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 and the person gets off scot-free. How would you feel? I would be incensed. I would certainly not think that person is a hero. 
Now, if you think I'm making this up, he pled guilty. Tom Robinson pled guilty to contempt of court. He accepted he did this, presumably to get a more lenient sentence. He accepted that he did this. Even during the transmission, Google this. Put Tommy Robinson video, Leeds Crown, uh, Crown Court, May 25th. And it will say the broadcast that Tommy Robinson got arrested for. You know, his brave reporter. You'll see it. And he even says, I've, I can't cross the line here because I'll be in contempt of court. And he then proceeds to cross the line because he's a fucking moron. So this was the thing, and he accepted he'd done wrong. And his lawyer, a gentleman called Matthew Harding, said that my client feels very guilty, he's very apologetic. But now, of course, the line coming out from Camp Robinson is that this is all made up. He never pled guilty. He was never even shown the charges. What the fuck are you talking about? In our view, it is clear from the remarks of the judge that he was concerned with and sentenced for comments made by the appellant which could not have been covered by the section 4 bracket 2 order. In contempt proceedings, touching as they do on the liberty of the subject, there is a need for the contempt in question to be identified with precision and the conduct of the alleged contemnor identified with sufficient particularity to enable him, with the assistance of legal advice, to respond to what is a criminal charge in all but name. In this case there was no clarity at all about what the appellant was admitting and for what parts of his broadcast he was considered by the judge to be guilty of contempt of court for breach of the section 4 bracket 2 order. So Tommy Robinson was recently released from prison. He was let out two days ago. You 